We actually managed to finish a day early, and um, I, I won't take credit for that, but uh, we all the team basically really tried hard together, and we had a common goal, so uh, when we finished a day early, rather than everyone sit about and celebrate and stuff, we came up with the idea, well, why don't we erect a, a small you know, monument to say, this is us, we've done this. Um, so the guys that were working on the shuttering, we got them to cut out like actual shapes that we could use to make the monument itself. The rebar guys, they made a cage. Uh, we got excess concrete. Um, we made moulds, etc. to actually make it a bit catching rather than just a bit of wood stuck in some concrete. And then we all signed it um, and we had that at the forefront in front of the tower. So when um, we had our grand opening, um, folk came along and obviously they were like, well, what's that? And that was the sort of um, conversation starter to say, well, we finished a day early. So, um, yeah, that, it was quite exciting that way, knowing that we had the, the full week and we managed to get it done earlier as a team. Well, I'd obviously said about morale, etc. But when you become the project manager, um, you're automatically good cop, bad cop. So um, on day one, I, we went round and we said, who wants to do this, who wants to do this? And um, there's very rarely a scenario where you get people that fit into every category. So the second day, I, I decided we should rotate the roles so people aren't stuck doing one thing the whole week. Um, which people were excited about, but then obviously you get people go, well, no, I, I, I like doing this. So it's actually trying to deal with it in a kind of professional manner rather than just being like, look, you're doing that, and I told you you're doing that. So as much as that was a positive working in a team, one of the most difficult things is working in a team and keeping everybody happy. But to a point where you go, this is like time critical now, so... If you do that for a bit, we can switch folk better. It's trying to come up with the logistics of people, the, almost the, the HR side of things, which you don't get experience of either because you get told this happens, this happens, this happens, but you don't get the human factor in it, which uh, was really challenging but fun at the same time. Um, well, this was one of the things that I, I'd said. I obviously work in a consultancy now. Um, I've had three years of experience, but um, a bit more emphasis on the sort of consultancy side in terms of um, you get given your plans and you have to build them over the course of the week. Even if it was a case of two weeks or ten days where you get to do a bit of research in terms of the plans themselves to give people the experience of the consultancy side of things and not just the contractor side of things I think would have been good because that was something we reflected on was you get all this hands-on experience but you effectively got given the plans which I suppose in real life the consultant would work on them and give them to the contractor but it's just to give people a little flavour of here's what was involved in putting these plans together because it's a scaled down model and things so they've got that balance almost so you're still getting a practical experience but get the opportunity to see the consultant side of things because that's one of the things when you leave university you go civil engineer but you've almost got these two different paths you can take which I think a lot of people struggle to realise sometimes. Well I mentioned earlier I came back a lot more engaged and um, as a result my academics went up um, I, I think actually getting that practical experience almost lights a fire under people because um, they can say alongside what they're learning they've almost got that added bonus of being like oh is that similar to such and such or oh we did that because of this and at the same time the university benefits from the fact that um, the students come back and they want to learn more and it's almost like this uh, domino effect like you come back and you go oh we got to do this and you got to do this and 
and like my peers were obviously like, oh, we wish we'd put on that, etc. And you, you did notice the, the difference between people that not so much they struggled, but not having that real life sort of experience you can see the difference straight away in people because they can see just sort of black and white whereas going from just having theory to going out and say even just something as simple as mushroom caps are going to drop a rebar that was one of the things I said like that never occurs to you you just go rebar cages but but the the health and safety side of things and um, universities definitely get a more well-rounded individual One of the things that I had said to um, Dale Lyon, who was um, the concrete man uh, the week that I did it, was actually just seeing what people are learning at university and how they sort of see an environment that the, constru- the people that work in the construction industry know it in and out, but seeing what the student sees into almost and seeing it from a student's perspective. Because as I said, we, we were in the classroom and didn't get much practical experience. So it almost comes down to that book smarts, street smarts thing, because um, when you work on site, you, you've got people from all different backgrounds and um, pe- people don't always call a spanner a spanner. And actually just engaging with people from different backgrounds and things as well makes you better, especially even in an office just have an appreciation where people come from and how to speak to people and um, you definitely get a better understanding in terms of other disciplines as well so some people can have the blinkers on and go I just want to do this when you come into the industry it, it gives you an idea of well I did this at the construction area how would I go about doing that further or is, there, is that a niche thing etc if that makes sense mm-hmm. um, so I, I think they get someone that's a bit more infused and a bit more energetic towards it, definitely. I, w- I would say that having the knowledge and getting your f- first class degree, etc. is all going well, but actually being able to get out and see what's involved um, sort of pays in dividends because yeah you may know the formula for the roughness of a, a riverbed but actually being able to go and say I measured out concrete and I, I built a tower <laughs> I built a tower. it didn't fall down I, I was there to supervise this saw this it's, it, it just give it attaches you to the theory almost rather than just knowing all your formulas being able to say that you were there and you done something it, to me, especially if I'm in an interview, that, that's a lot more exciting to hear than somebody just got a first class honours or something along those lines, you know. So I would say definitely jump at the chance because getting out there, meeting people and getting to see what's involved in the industry rather than just hearing it from lecturers is something that you you can't really put into words almost. It's just an experience you'll, you'll treasure forever.